for video syllabus uh, this model content estimation of the manual estimation of septic tank estimation of steel stress estimation of roads in the roads there are two criteria one is partially banking and partially cutting and another one is fully banking and fully cutting let's start with the manual here so first let us come to know by what do you mean by manual manuals are provided for access into the sewer line at junctions and at bends also along the straight line straight sewer line for the cleaning and inspection and flushing purpose as you know during the rain season the rain storm water will carry the some of the sludge these sludge will go to deposited near the junctions and pipelines so there will be chance of busting up the pipeline to avoid this what we need to do so we have to construct the manuals in order to construct the manuals first we need to estimate the uh, quantity of material requires and quantity uh, the total amount required for the construction of the manual okay na? so today we will start with uh, estimating the manhole a prepare uh, the in that question a prepare a detailed estimate of a manhole for the given drawing so in that it in uh, for give by, by referring these drawings we have different items here first one is earthwork excavation second is the cement concrete and third one is the first class brickwork fourth one is the cement pointing fifth one is the cement plastering and uh, sixth one is the rcs slab seventh one is the cast iron manhole cover and eighth one is the iron steps okay, no? so this is the given drawing here so in this drawing you can see uh, this portion is the working chamber what we call this portion is the working chamber and this portion is the shaft and uh, this is the given plan so this is the elevation at ab this one is the elevation at ab and this one is the elevation at ef so here you can see the pipeline this one is the pipeline okay this is a given drawing by using this drawing so we need to estimate the different items here okay now, first we start with earthwork excavation okay so in order to start with earthwork excavation so you can see here so the length the length is 2.8 meter you can see 2.8 meter from here to here this is 2.8 meter so here you can see uh, 2.8 meter from here to this is the 2.8 meter and uh, the one more length that is 1.9 meter okay 2.8 and 1.9 so 2.8 and one length is 2.8 meter and breadth is 1.9 meter and depth is 2.9 meter so depth 2.9 meter means it includes so look at here in the remorse column the depth is calculated in the remorse column so in this remorse column depth d equals to 0 0.2 meter that is a uh, cc bed uh, depth and second is the 0.9 meter and third one is the 1 plus 1 meter plus 0.1 meter and plus 1 meter okay now so these dimensions you can see here so in that first one is the cc bed so cc bed is see here you can this one is the cc bed and the second is the 0.9 meter this one is the 0.9 meter third one is 1 meter and this one is 1 meter and fourth one is 0 0.1 meter this is 0.1 meter and fifth one is 0.1 meter at the top 0.1 meter so by using these dimensions we can find out the depth depth equals to 2.1 meter 2.9 meter okay, no? so length is 2.8 uh, breadth is 1.9 depth is 2.9 after multiplying we will get the this quantity we will get this total quantity okay second one is the cc bed uh, in that cc bed we have uh, two criteria in first one is the cc bed you can see the cc bed length will be remain same that is 2.8 meter and breadth will be 1.9 meter as i told you depth that is 0.2 meter so 2.8 into 1.9 to 0.2 meter we will get the total quantity is 1.064 meter cube benching okay na? so benching means you can see here this one is the benching this portion is there no this one is the benching so this one we need to calculate here so the length will be considered as inside the uh, working chamber the inside the working chamber uh, dimension is uh, length is 1.8 meter okay na? so 1.8 meter here you can see this one is 1.8 meter from here to here this is the 1.8 meter from here to here. this is 1.8 meter that is working chamber and 0.9 meter from here to here is the 0.9 meter from here to here so 0.9 meter so and 0.4 meter is nothing but the total height height is nothing but height of the sorry the, the total height is nothing but so in this you can see the height is nothing but 
pipe height from here to here is the pipe height that one we have to consider so after considering it will be one uh, the number will be one length will be 1.8 breadth will be 0.9 and uh, depth will be 0.4 we'll get the total quantity is 0 0.648 so 1.064 1 plus 0 0.648 will get the total quantity of 1.71 meter cube okay, now after that we need to deduct some of the portions here the what is that that is above the pipeline you, you can see this portions we need to deduct this above the pipeline though. so this portion that we need to deduct so that is the reason so you can consider directly here 1.8 into 0.2 0.2 is nothing but you can see this is the 0.2 here one is 0.2 and the depth is also 0.2 that is from here to here 0.2 you can see the 0.2 the depth okay no? length is 1.8 um, breadth is 0.2 another breadth is 0.2 the optimal multiple this will get 0 0.0072 so then the total net total is the total is 1.638 it's all about the cc bed okay next start with the third item third item is the first class brickwork in that we we need to consider the long walls and short walls first let us consider with the long walls here so these are the lungs you can see these are the long walls and these are the short walls okay na? so first let's start with the long wall here so number of long walls two here you can see number of long walls one and two two number of long walls here length of first footing length of first footing that will be calculated here you can see the length of first footing is calculated at here 1.8 plus 0.4 that is 0.4 is nothing but width of footing and also 0.4 width of footing the total width is 2.6 here Okay, no? uh, again the width will be so here first step you can cons consider first step two long wall length is 2.6 width is 0.4 and depth is 0.9 meter depth is 0.9 meter means so here you can see this depth so we need to consider from here to here that is 0.9 meter depth okay, no? so then, then after multiplying all this quantity you will get 1.88 similarly second footing second footing is the inner, inner dimension is 1.8 meter that is working chamber dimension is 1.8 meter plus second footing width is 0 0.3 point both left side and right side the total length will be 2.4 meter 2 into 2.4 into 0 0.3 into 1 so you'll get the total quantity okay, no? similarly third footing third footing is nothing but so here we have in shaft you can see the third footing dimension in the shaft so this is the shaft here so inner dimension is 0 0.6 meter plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 then it will be 0 0.8 meter so plus sorry 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 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 total it will be 1 meter so length is 1 meter and uh, breadth is 0 0.2 meter and depth is 0 0.7 meter so here you can see 0 0.7 meter from here to here this is the 0 0.7 meter that is for the shaft okay next short wall okay na? so in that short wall so already we are constructed the long wall the remaining short wall length will be only 0.9 meter it means we should consider only from year to year that is 0.9 meter okay so numbers will be two numbers here two numbers means you can see one and two numbers here these are the two numbers so to first step is two into 0.9 into width is as you know that 0.4 meter depth is also 0.9 meter after multiplying we will get 0.65 similarly second step second step two numbers the breadth will be remains because in long wall already constructed so 0.9 meter this 0.9 meter you can see in elevation ef this 0.9 meter width you can see in elevation ef then so next one meter is the height so after multiplying you get 0.54 Mm, that is meter cube then third step third step is 2 into 0.9 into 0.2 into 0.7 you get the total quantity is 0 0.25 so total quantity of first class brickwork is 5.04 it is all about the first class brickwork okay no? next is pointing so pointing means you can see the the there is a gap between two bricks in that bricks because the, uh, the here the wall will be constructed by using the bricks so in that gap you have to fill by using the mortar so cement pointing is by uh, the ratio is one is to two here 
first we shall consult with working chamber in working chamber up to the height of uh, working chamber we have to construct uh, we have to carry out the cement pointing here okay now so first let's start consider with the long wall here number of long wall is two numbers here length will be 1.8 meter and uh, depth will be 1.5 meter you can see in working chamber you can see in working chamber so in this drawing so length is 1.8 meter length is 1.8 meter and depth is 1.5 meter the length is 1.8 so here is the length here is the length length is 1.8 meter and depth is 1.5 meter 1.5 meter up to 1.5 meter only okay that is a sharp uh, that is a long wall here so th then we got the length 5.4 similarly short wall two numbers so long wall is already considered so point diameter width is 0.9 meter depth is 1.5 meter the pointing okay now that is all about the working chamber okay now next we come to the uh, above arch slab is nothing but sharp this portion now we have to do the pointing for this portion point the inside portion only we have to do the pointing for inside portion only so inside portion means you can see number of long wall two number of long walls dimension is 0.6 meter and the depth is 0.82 then how you get this 0.82 you can see this 0.82 so we are measuring from up to the ear sorry so once again it will be measuring from once again it will be measuring from ear to the slab height to the top okay 0.7 plus 0 0.12 0 0.12 is nothing but that is rcc slab so 0.12 plus 0.7 you may get 0.82 so this 0.8 will be calculated this 0.8 will be calculated like this so here you can see that 0.82 that will be calculated 0.7 plus 0.12 that is a long walls while considering the short wall there are two places here one said we have to consider up to a depth of 0.82 meter that is as we consider for the long wall so remain same depth you have to consider but the other side of the right face we have to consider only 0.7 meter just because just because you just look at here uh, just because you can see the drawing here so one side it will be 0.8 meter from ear to ear up to the bottom okay na? but another side is only 0.7 meter so it means we are not considering the slab thickness here so for second uh, short wall for uh, right face we have to consider depth will be 0.7 so 1 into 0.7 into 0.9 into 0.7 we get the 0 0.63 the total quantity will be 10.45 so that is measured in square meter it's similarly nothing but plastering okay next uh, next we come to the next item that is 20 mm thick cement plaster for floor and channels okay na? so floor is nothing but we have we should consider only this floor we should consider only this floor plaster flooring will be considered only for this floor okay so the dimension will be 1.8 is horizontal 0.9 is the vertical 1.8 is horizontal 0.9 is vertical so 1.8 is 1.8 is horizontal but here we have to consider 0.9 plus 0.3 is the curvature of the pipeline it means we should consider the curvature of the pipeline this curvature also we should consider for the adding purpose because we are doing flooring here so additionally we are adding 0.3 meter for the curvature so the total breadth will be 0 0.9 plus 0.3 equals to 1.2 the total breadth will be 1.2 so 1.8 into 1.2 will get the flooring of 2.16 meter square the flooring will be considered only for the floor and our uh, top of the pipeline okay na? next third one floor, sixth one is rcc slab okay na? first is, here we have to consider the first slab we will uh, first we should consider for the working chamber in working chamber you can see the total length of the slab in working chamber the total length of the slab is the as you know that the total width of the working chamber is 1.8 meter by 0.9 meter in that 1.8 meter 0.6 meter shaft will be there so it means 1.8 minus in the remarks column you can see 1.8 minus 0.6 plus additionally we are adding 0.15 meter so why we are adding 0.8 meter means you can see in the drawing so in this drawing you can see so 0.1 meter it means the here you can see 0.115 meter we are adding that is half of the wall thickness that is second footing 
additionally it will be the slab will be projected to the second wall second footing so additionally we, we need to there we need to add 0.15 meter so 1.8 minus 0 0.6 1.8 minus 0 0.6 plus 0.15 is equals to 1.3 but that is one side only it is project to only one side so we need to add only one time here then uh, the the length will be 1.35 meter and breadth will come to the breadth so it will be 1.2 meter as you know that the working chamber is only 0.9 meter but if you get 1.2 meter again we need to add 0.15 meter on both the side for the 0.15 meter on both the side for the slab because slab will be projected 0.15 meter on both the side so here you can see 0.9 plus 0.15 meter plus 0.15 meter equals to 1.2 meter that is two side then the total breadth will be 1.2 so 1.5 into 1.2 into 0.12 is the thickness of the slab the total quantity will be 0.194 okay that is a, a quantity of rc slab for the working chamber next we should we should consider the roof slab for the shaft so roof for the shaft we have dimension is 0.6 meter that is inside is 0.6 meter but additionally we are adding 0.1 meter 0.1 meter on both the side means slab will be projected on the wall on both the side of about 0.1 meter so 0.6 in the remarks column you can see 0.6 plus 0.1 plus 0.1 equals to 0.8 meter similar for the breadth will be 0.9 meter plus 0.1 plus 0.1 it will be 1.1 meter you know so 0.8 into 1.1 into the 0.1 is the thickness of the slab for the shaft so total quantity will be 0 0.0088 by adding uh, working chamber slab thick, uh, quantity and uh, shaft slab quantity so we'll get 0 0.282 that is the total quantity of rcc work okay now in that we have to detect the manual cover okay now for that what we need to do so here he has given manual cover in the diameter it is having the diameter that is up about 0 0.45 meter so for that what we need to do we should carry out the cash we should calculate the area here you can see we calculated area so area into thickness will get the quantity so one number area will be 0 0.6 meter square 0 0.1 will get the total quantity of uh, manual cover that will be detected from the total rcc work then the total quantity will be 0 0.66 meter cube it's all about the rcc slab okay next we have uh, cast iron manhole cast iron manual cover that is we should consider only numbers next iron steps for the um, iron steps uh, iron step that is uh, having diameter of points uh, 16 mm diameter iron steps but here we should consider only numbers so seven numbers the quantity will be for manual cover it will be one number and for iron step so it will be seven numbers it's all about the estimation of the manhole and uh, in abstract you can see the rates so again we need to prepare a tabular column here serial number particular item quantity unit rate per and amount so here we should multiply quantity into rate we'll get the total amount for the total amount we need additionally we need to add 5% uh, of contiguous and work charge establishment so then we may get the total quantity of 28,574.7 okay. thank you